Hey what's up guys, my name is Nicholas Kid, and today we're just talking about how to reduce or fix some lags and glitches on iOS 7 and if you guys haven't noticed yet, iOS 7 actually has lots of glitches and lags especially on the lower end devices for example the iPad 1, iPhone 4 so anyway, first of all we'll check out the iOS keyboard sometimes the iOS keyboard can be really really unsensitive and you know you're just pressing on it and the words will actually slowly slowly appear like very very dead and slow so this actually takes up lots of time and you know we'll get um, frustrated easily so that is a problem first of all the iOS keyboard which is quite important for texting or you know messaging someone so next thing I notice is YouTube there you know after upgrading to iOS 7 it is actually impossible watching a video on YouTube because the frame rate keeps dropping and if you guys don't know what that means, basically, you know, the video isn't smooth anymore. Um, it actually shows picture by picture, which is very irritating because I actually use YouTube all the time. So, of course, if you guys are like me, and you'll be frustrated as well. So, you know, if you guys, you know, want to put it in the short term, we'll call it as lag. Not buffering, but lag. So anyway, today I'm going to teach you guys how to reduce it. I wouldn't say this would actually fix it, but, you know, it would actually reduce it and makes it better. So what you're gonna do is go to settings, very easy steps, and go all the way down to iCloud and scroll all the way down to documents and data. So documents and data, supposedly it is actually um, switched on, so what you're gonna do is switch it off and that will pretty much do the job. So you know, you won't actually sync any documents or data because, you know, um, the traffic is actually really busy. So anyway, that is how to fix it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, hope it actually helps you out and uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.